Everybody who comes to the Cincinnati Zoo loves our primates. Of course, some are famous like gorillas and monkeys, but we also have prosimians, which are primates as well. We're here with a prosimian expert, Mike Delaney, our curator of mammals. And I know you love pottos, mm -hmm. but most people probably don't even know what a potto is, and yet we're kind of famous for them. Well, we are. There's only four zoos in the U.S. that have pottos. There's only 15 in the U.S., and we're one of only, well, right now, we're the only zoo breeding pottos. So we have one that we thought was pregnant, mm -hmm. and now we know she's pregnant. That's right. Uh, our keepers over in Night Hunters have been working on training them to do voluntary ultrasounds. And they oftentimes will use something like yogurt to get them you know, distracted and feeding off the yogurt, uh, stretching the animal, letting the animal stretch out, and they can take the little ultrasound wand, move it up and down the belly, and they've been able to do this very successfully with this female and determine that, yes, she is pregnant. Our crew researchers and scientists are getting involved with this because it's never been done before. You know what's amazing about that? Of course, with people, uh, that's been done millions of times. Mm -hmm. But as you said, with potos, never. How were you able to be sure she's pregnant? Could you see? Yeah, you could yeah. actually see you know, the skeletal parts of, of the baby. Uh, you could pick up a heartbeat. Um, so we, we, we're going to follow this pregnancy so that we'll have that much more data. So when other zoos think that they have a pregnant potto, we can send this data to yeah. them and they can find a non-stressful way to check for pregnancy in their pottos. That is neat. Now, a little bit more on pottos. They come from Central Africa? West and Central Africa, yeah. yeah they're, uh, as you said, they're persimians, like uh, bush babies and lorises. They're actually in the loris family. Lorises are the Asian version. Uh, they come, you know, they're, they're forest animals. They're usually solitary. They're brown in color, relatively, you know, slow-moving animals. Um, and, and as I said, there's only four zoos in the U.S. that are currently even exhibiting them. Now, we've had baby pottos before. Mm -hmm. Yes, we, we, we probably have uh, had more baby pottos than any zoo in the past couple decades that I'm aware of. Yeah. Uh, how long are they pregnant? Usually it's about uh, six to seven months. No kidding. Yeah. That well, long that's another thing we want to, we want to determine. Yeah. You know? And the babies must be pretty teeny. They're, they're small, but the babies from day one cling to the mother's okay. belly. Yeah. And the mother often will park them, which means she will go up to a, a tree branch and the baby will cling to the branch. Mom will leave it there for hours, even at day one. Go off and feed and everything, and then come back and collect the baby and take it off to, to, to the nest, because they are nocturnal, take it off to their, their nesting hole or whatever, and keep it uh, during the daytime with her and taking care of it and feeding it. That is amazing. So they're born and they have hair and everything else? They, they have yeah. hair. They, they, they have this, a very strong clinging ref yeah. reflex. And like I said, for, they're, they're actually they're, they're a light color when they're first born to blend in with the mother's belly. And as they get older, they start turning more brown in color, like the, the, like the adults, and then they'll start shifting to ride on mom's back. That is great. That's fun. That'll be fun to watch for. So next time you're at the zoo, be sure to go to our Night Hunters exhibit. That's where the potos live, and it sounds like in a little while we might even have a baby. Wow.